is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Athlete. In today's video, I'm gonna get a chance to show you guys the top 10 football accessories the football players need in their locker. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thanks again for everyone that showed love and support. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor and leave a comment down below. I apologize, I'm a little behind in replying to my comments, but I'm going to be making sure that I'm going to be getting a chance to reply to every single one of you guys. Lastly, please make sure you guys stay tuned because I got the college football game day vlogs coming up real soon. So please, please, please be patient. Now with that said, let's get into the first accessory that y'all need in your locker. All right guys, so the first thing y'all need in your locker is an organizer drawer. This one specifically right here actually fits in the dimension of my locker as you guys can see right here. And basically what this organizer drawer really allows me to do is just keep everything organized as it's in the title itself, wow. So basically what I do is I put my pants, leggings, anything that I wear on my legs down in the bottom drawer and then all my tops basically go on this top drawer right here. This drawer not only helps me keep everything organized, but it also just helps provide a little bit of extra space as things can be nicely put in places as well as I can put stuff on top of this drawer. And wow, oh, it's just amazing. With that said, let's now get on to accessory number two. All right guys, so accessory number two is not just one accessory. Basically, I'm just titling this whole category. Football necessities, as you guys can see here, I got some baby powder flying at me, some deodorant, some dryer sheets, some ibuprofen, as well as some, oh my gosh, as well as I got my mouth guard right here, some boost grip for my hands, as well as what, oh my gosh, a uh, ball pump? Yeah. And then another boost grip. So basically everything, as you guys can see right here, are football necessities that you need in your locker. The baby powder, y'all know when it gets hot and sweaty. I know a lot of you guys are roasting me in the comments because in Oregon, it only gets up to like 87 degrees. But for all you boys down south, you definitely need baby powder because you definitely need to keep the boys nice and dry. As well as you guys are going to need dryer sheets that are really going to make sure your locker smells really nice. Then we got ibuprofen that y'all can be taking before practice to really just make sure your aches and pains are not bothering you before every practice. Then we got my mouth guard, as y'all can see. It's a custom one just so I can talk as a QB. Why are they? Why are they? Not? Gotta make sure this thing is in the locker, but you know, I never get him in practice, so I really don't use it that much. Deodorant, y'all gotta make sure you're smelling good as a player. Then we got your uh, good old ball pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know when you need to pump up some balls. And then lastly, we got some boost grip. When I was throwing with the glove as a quarterback, I was putting this on because basically the gloves were running out of stick, but y'all can maybe try this out. Uh, this is not a sponsored partnership, so uh, yeah. Now, with that said, let's move on to, let's now move on to accessory number three. All right guys, so for accessory number three, as y'all can see here, I got a foam roller, which is really a PVC pipe covered with about two layers of duct tape, as well as this handheld roller that basically allows you before practice as well as post practice to get a chance to roll out your legs, as well as a little bit of your upper body, so that y'all are gonna be able to really make sure that your body is ready for practice and that you're nice and relaxed and ready to go. These really do a good job getting all the lactic acid out of your body pre and post practice. So y'all definitely need these in your locker to help you guys get warmed up as well as to cool down after practice. Let's now move on to accessory number four. For accessory number four, before practice, you're always gonna make sure you need a snack. And what I like to do is I go to Winco, I buy a big old batch of Fit Crunch Bars, and basically I just keep these in my locker because if I don't eat a big enough lunch before practice, I can always make sure I grab one of these things, and they always make sure they keep me fueled up for the full entire practice. And we practice for about three hours every single day, so my Fit Crunch Bars really do help me out whenever I'm hungry. And sometimes even during practice, if I get a little hungry, I'll go in and grab one of these just to make sure that I'm staying fueled for the entire practice. Let's now move on to accessory number five. For accessory number five, I've got ankle braces. Y'all can see right here, I pretty much get my ankles taped before every single practice, but I recently just discovered these ankle braces. Whoa. Wow. Basically these ankle braces just allow me so I don't have to get taped before every single practice, which takes about like 
15 to 20 minutes because we got a bunch of guys getting taped and not that many trainers. So for those of you guys that need that ankle support, I definitely would recommend y'all get some ankle braces and you're always gonna wanna have these in your locker so you can get a chance to put these on right before you got practice. And the biggest convenience for these ankle braces is that post practice, you don't have to take those scissors and try to cut the tape off your ankles. Let's now move on to accessory number six. For accessory number six, as you guys can see here, I've got headbands. Now these headbands are unique because they're not just your traditional headbands. These are actually sleeves from Nike Dry Fit t-shirts. And I have about four of these for every single day of practice besides Fridays. And the reason why I wear these is because they really reduce the sweat from getting inside my helmet, dripping all the way down and getting in my eyes during practice, as well as they also make sure my helmet stays on my head. Because every now and then when I'm sweating really tough, my helmet can come off real easily. So y'all are gonna wanna make sure you make your own headbands or buy them, it's up to you. I definitely would recommend making them. Like I said, these are basically just sleeves from old t-shirts that I've had. So definitely look into making your own headbands and you're definitely gonna need them in your locker. Let's now move on to accessory number six. Accessory number seven, as y'all can see here, we got the hand warmer. I have two of these hand warmers, one I always leave in my locker as well as a game day hand warmer. And why I have this in my locker all the time is because you never know when surprising rain here in the Pacific Northwest might happen. And you always wanna keep your hands warm. Now that September's just about over too, the weather's about to start getting really, really cold. So for the boys up north, y'all definitely want a hand warmer. All you boys down in the south, you probably don't need one of these, but it's always cool to have one in case of an emergency or whenever it's raining because they do also really do a good job keeping your hands dry. Let's now move on to accessory number eight. For accessory number eight, as y'all can see here, I've got my towels and my armbands. These are my designated towels and armbands strictly for practice. I keep these in my locker and basically I get a chance to actually rotate through all these towels, as well as I have two armbands that I rotate through. These really do a good job helping reduce the sweat that go from my forearms down to my hands, as well as my towels are always my go-to because you know your boy's got real sweaty hands. And for real, for real, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six is my homemade towel, the towels that I rotate through all week. So towels and armbands to reduce sweat are definitely a necessity for you guys to have in your locker. Let's now move on to accessory number nine. For accessory number nine, y'all are gonna need some handy dandy knee pads ones that are not attached into your pants. Basically getting a chance to wear these knee pads are just gonna allow you to be way more comfortable while you're practicing, especially on those hot, sweaty days. I really hate wearing knee pads in practice just in general. Comment down below if y'all agree because they're not attached to the girdle, so you always need to make sure you have them in your pants. These removable knee pads are really cool because you don't always need to have them over your knees, especially when it's really hot outside. What I do in high school is have them hanging down by my ankles, and then whenever it came time when we were actually gonna be hitting, I'd pull my knee pads up over my knees. And then like I said, whenever we are done, I'd pull them down and it's way more comfortable. All right guys, let's now move on to accessory number 10. All right guys, for the last and final accessory, we got the bark guava. Yeah! All right guys, as you can see, this goes over your head when it's really, really cold outside. So if you're up in the north like us, you know, sometimes it gets really cold and Having a bar quava is really good to put over your head, you know? So, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick how this uh, bar quava is gonna look. Yeah. All right guys, as you can see, this is how the bar quava looks. And it's really important that you guys have this in your locker because uh, you can wear it under your helmet and it can keep your head warm when it's cold out. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm joking, Clark's gonna take over. All right guys, we're back now. I just wanna say thank y'all so much for showing love and supporting the video. And I just want to apologize. This is actually called a baklava. Balaclava. Balaclava. We call this uh, a bar, a bar quifa. No, no. <laughs> bar quifa. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, we're going to be wrapping up this video. These are the 10 football accessories you guys are going to need in your football locker. Make sure you guys go check out my boy Artie. And thank y'all so much for showing love and support. I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> yeah.